Cecilia Vicuña has been making her sculptures, her actions, her activist happenings um, for the past 50 years and her work's got this new resonance now with a young generation of artists because many of the things that she's cared about for a long time, the environment, indigenous communities and traditions and textile sculpture are things that had been quite undervalued and underappreciated in the art world. So this installation is called the Brain Forest Kipu which is really to do with Cecilia's thinking about how human beings across the planet can think together, dream together, imagine together uh, about ways to conserve the, you know, the land and water and the forests. She sees that as a, a crucial issue of our time, as, as many of us do. The Turbine Hall at Tate is such a cavernous space and it's so visceral, it hits you as you walk in. That's why installations in this space are always so well lauded because it's, it's huge, it's interactive usually and it's free to visit, you know, it's not a paying exhibition, you just walk in and you're hit by it. It's kind of, you're not going to the art, the art's coming to you almost. I think the difficulty with the turbine hall is such a vast space and you have to fill it and it does feel a bit slight in this installation where you've just got two installations at either end and it does feel like you could have done a lot more with the space. I think the sound elements are interesting and that will make people stand around and experience it but I do feel like it won't be as memorable as say the floating jellyfish that preceded it. 